academic director of sustainability, I'm frequently asked, what do you mean by sustainability? I'm asked this by students, I'm asked this by faculty members, and it's um, such an umbrella concept. Uh, it means, um, I mean, we have definitions, we just have definitions that don't always satisfy people's need for detail. So the common definition is the one that came out of the 1987 Brundtland Report for the United Nations, um, and it is uh, meeting the needs of the present without compromising the needs of future generations to meet their needs. And most people don't know what does that mean? How do we operationalize something like that? I think it's easier when we start to think about the three E's of sustainability, economic development, social equity, and environmental protection and integrity. So when you think about things um, to operationalize, you really want to work through the idea of is this going to have a negative impact on the environment? Is it going to degrade resources to the point where they can't come back? Or is it going to create pollution in a way that's going to harm people's health and well-being? Um, are what we, is what we're doing um, having a potential to create jobs and allow people to have basic basic needs and necessities covered. Um, and then there's also the social justice, social equity challenge. You know, are we making sure that people have access to um, whatever it is that we're creating? So in the, in the body of food, I mean, I could come up with a list of 20 things that I think we mean by a more sustainable food system. So let me think if I can think of some. Um, so high on the list would be something around the environment. So under the environmental E, I would put things like a food system that uses or uh, minimizes greenhouse gas emissions, um, a food system that uses water efficiently and uses non-renewable energy to the least amount possible. Um, we're also looking at a food system environmentally that is not producing too much um, in the way of inputs of chemicals, as particularly synthetic chemicals. But then we also want to shift and we want to look at the other two E's. So for example, if we wanted to look at economic development, issues around fair trade, are farmers and food producers being paid adequately for what they're doing? Are they under bad labor conditions? So we would want to remove bad labor conditions like child labor, for example. Um, another economic um, slash social equity issue might be around the role of women in food and food production. Um, notions of more equality around food and food production. So the, uh, the last E, kind of looking at social issues and social equity would be, is food affordable? Is food accessible? Um, do people um, have um, an awareness around what is nutritious and how to best feed themselves? Um, I also think maybe as we're thinking about equity issues around food, even things like, is food fun? Um, do we have the social component of developing community and having people gather around the table um, and forming those social bonds and social relationships which food can do so well? Um, so those are kind of, when you, when you think about food and sustainability, you know, the, the term sustainability may not capture all of the elements that we're talking about. Well, but when you start to talk about, about the notion of, you know, everybody should have access to fresh and healthy and nutritious food and it should be affordable. Um, those are the kinds of things we're meeting around food and sustainability. And when we break it down like that, there's tremendous meaning and tremendous optimism and tremendous possibilities around creating a, a sustainable food supply system.